Alright, so if y'all wouldn't mind, just a quick uh, recap of the of last session. Um, last session, we met at an inn, uh, Draenir and I did, and um, quickly discovered we had the same vision, or, or well, similar vision, um, which asking about those led us to uh, to Astrid at, at the Mystic's Hut in the town of Eeg. Um, after that, we managed, she led us, led us through the northern forest to uh, a witch hut. Um, the woman who lived there was named Boda, or at least the only part of her name I could pronounce. And she claimed okay. that she was the one who, yeah, uh, she claimed that she's the one who gave us those visions. Uh, and with that, she gave us a list of items uh, that we are supposed to collect now for her. That is the reason she sent out those visions. Apparently it's deeper than that, but for now that's all we know, and we've decided hey, why not? So we've got, gotten the boggle teeth, we met a unicorn who was attacked by a uh, drake, and then we found out that that drake was a pet of some storm giants who, who told us where we could find more scales if we uh, find their cave and so that's where we ended our last session was headed towards that cave did I miss anything? I think I got everything that was that matters. sounds good to me yeah. so as well cool um okay so um y'all are currently I get everything set up properly. Y'all are currently right. at the top of the, a mountain. Right. There we go. I was about to say, all I can see is Eve. Yeah. So the, the prior town was the town of Eve. That's where uh, uh, Astrid is from. And uh, y'all are currently sitting on the top of the mountain uh, that overlooks uh, the northern forest, or one of them. Uh, and from here, you can see quite a bit. Let me actually reveal some of this to y'all. So y'all can see the valley here, all the way down to the witch's hut. Uh, you can see down here. You can also see all the way over to here, including the stream area that you had your fight with the boggles. And of course, you can still see the forest uh, or the ruined area where the unicorn resides. Uh, we, I've yet not made, uh, I've not gotten uh, tokens to, to show where all the different places are yet, but we, uh, if we remember from last time, the, for, the cave is about uh, in this area right here. Right, yeah. So and you guys we were about 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah y'all uh, went by it on the way up. And um, so the question is, are y'all going to start traveling towards the cave? It is also uh, roughly 10 o'clock at night. Um, and if I remember correctly, uh, Leah's uh, uh, mentor was wanting y'all home, or wanting her home, by a little before 8. Pretty sure. He said he wanted yeah. her before nightfall. Yeah, and yeah, before nightfall. But I don't think we're then gonna Astrid, be doing. I don't think we're gonna be doing that. Aster decided <laughs> to come with. Far. Oh yeah, no, it, mm -hmm. it's your. Uh, I'm taking no responsibility for that. You chose to come with. Me. Yeah, no, I know. So but it's ten o'clock tonight. I don't tonight. think we'll be leaving. What with the giants, they were stomping around and or playing with their dog, Drake. What's the <laughs> weather like right now? Like, is it? Still thundering like it was, or has it calmed down? So that's a good question. It's actually still a little stormy. There's no rain. It seems like it's just overcast with uh, lightning uh, every so often, and obviously, uh, following after lightning is the roar of thunder. Right. Uh, the moon is occasionally visible behind the clouds uh it's not so overcast that you can't have any moonlight um 
but I would say for the most part, you guys are uh, ha maybe going to have a little bit of hard time looking around at this point, and we'll say that your vision is reduced to about 30 feet. Um, we're going to stop using this larger map as a combat map. We've got some smaller maps now to use, uh, so we'll be using those instead. You're welcome. Uh, Yes, thank you. Shameless <laughs> plug. Thank you. For Absolutely that. shameless. <laughs> no, so, he, he deserves the credit for making these. He's doing a great yeah. job. Oh, man. So, okay, so then, guys, what do you think? How are you feeling? Can we handle something that might pop up in the cave? I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just worried about you guys. I mean, it's the giant's caves, right? It shouldn't really be an issue. Yeah, I mean... I mean have you ever been in a giant's cave before? No. <laughs> Who well, knows I think, what kinds of... Well, I think that if these giants are telling us to go there and they didn't seem malicious, then it should be okay. But if we do come across any any combat, I am low on magic right now. So, I don't know if it looks, we can, we can at least go look, well, and if it looks dangerous, then we can we can wait until for, the morning. For your maybe sake, find Astrid, somewhere to camp. we could wait until the morning, if that's what you prefer. If, 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 if you're more comfortable waiting for the morning, then I wouldn't mind getting a camp started. If, if I would prefer to go and get the job done, but if you, you would oh. like to rest. Well, well, if you're gonna make it, well, if you're gonna say it like that, then let's just go to the cave then. I don't want to inconvenience you there, Corvus. No. The, okay, that's fine too. If that's what you prefer. <laughs> you're okay, you're our just... guide. Okay. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know where it is exactly. So I guess I'm not really your guide now. But if everyone else wants to go, then I I suppose then we should just go and get it done. At least I would get me home earlier as well. I don't really want to have to camp out here if we don't have to, I suppose, so. Well, we haven't even seen a Pegasus, so I don't know how quickly this is going to go. We'll be fine. Well, Just follow me. And, and I will start walking that direction, stepping ahead of all of you with my chest puffed out and uh, no one able to see my face. <laughs> um... And I will start heading in the direction. No, I am <laughs> brave and stoic, and I am headed to the monster, the giant cave. And, All right. and yeah, I follow for show. All right, yeah, so y'all, I'll, I'll follow too. Y'all arrive at the giant's cave. Uh, this is crazy. Like Ooh. Mip. Spook. spooky. It's a big map. Jeez. It yes, is completely, completely blacked, out. blacked out. Unfortunately, I still don't have character tokens. So all I have is like a little blue guy for me right now. I assume everyone else has the same thing. I don't have anything. Oh, well, I have a blue guy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I still don't see anything. Look to the right. Yeah, it's oh, on the far there we are. right. Yep. Yeah, you need to zoom out a bit. So, we're in the cave. I can put myself there and it's not a problem. I should probably shrink myself, right? Oh, oh yes, I, can't I can do the same. Myself. Oh, no. Yeah. What happened to the tokens we were using last time? Because this uh, might get a little confusing with us all. I'm a red dot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm red dot boy. I'm a blue dot. Some dot. Oh no, I, I don't know how to do that, so I guess I'm just the one without a dot. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, here's a mage, so we'll use that for the, uh, uh, here's the ranger, oh. so there's... Cool. Yeah. That's way better. Yeah. You will have to give us permission to control that. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, but for now, so we go into this cave that is... Like the size that 
we see ourselves is that the actual size of the cave or is it bigger or smaller what are we actually it's smaller I mean, i've got a shrink I, I didn't realize how how uh the grid was laid out so give me one second this is not astrid if we face another giant are you going to be able to talk them down hmm I don't know. Hopefully they're as friendly and have a have a nice pet. But if they didn't have I'll that try my best. Drake, I don't know I don't know if that would have gone as well if they hadn't been playing with their Drake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well Draneer can speak to giants too. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe he can talk them down like he did the boggles, right? He did a great job with that. I think so. Oh, no, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Clue. <laughs> Can't see that. Um. <laughs> I saw nothing. Why is... Why Oop, am I moving in there? map? You probably have... Because you're on the, the map, map layer. Of the token layer. Or that. There we go, map layer. Much better. Okay. So now let's shrink you guys down. Okay. Okay, so we are smaller. The map is actually... The cave is actually bigger than we perceive. This is not my finest moment. Ah, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have tokens set up yet. The sooner we, soon we will and stuff. Okay. Right. So this is the map. And uh, inside of it, you see uh, a relatively empty cave, but I would like for you to each make a perception. Okay. Am I the, okay. Do we all have dark vision? Can you, I can do you not. see this, Astrid? Nope. So I can see it. I'm the only one. Yeah. Um, I got an. Who can or cannot? You know, my perception. Who whenever you can. Ready. I can see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't have dark vision, so I cannot. I don't have dark vision either. Is it like, is well, it completely dark in here? Like, Chase, the four races it... that don't have dark vision. Yeah. Uh, are there... I would say it's it's pretty dark. Uh, there's no natural light in here. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have you to... Say, you said perception. Get us through this cave. I did say perception. Yeah, I got an eight. That makes sense. I can't see anything. <laughs> I rolled an 18. I'm gonna... You rolled an 18? Yes. Okay. And added my total. 13. 13. Okay. Yeah. 8 plus 5. Uh, you guys don't really notice anything abnormal in the cave. Uh, but you do hear a little bit of laughter. Like, it's, it's, um... relatively, it's relatively normal, but you hear a little bit of laughter. Well... As, well, that as sounds friendly. That, I'm going to a, a torch. I'll light up a torch and hand it to Draenir. Oh, thank um, you. And I'll light up a second one and hand it to Astrid. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, he like he like passes a torch to me. I'm like holding onto the walls, trying to figure out where I am. And then he turns on the torches. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> it was uh, really dark in here. <laughs> I start walking towards the laughter. What, Draenir? Like... Where are you going? Well, there's somebody laughing. It... it sounds like they're having a good time. That doesn't sound like the good kind of laughing. Doesn't sound like the Wait, good Chase, kind of is laughing. Wait, Chase, is it like? Way? Yeah, is it like giant laughter or it like? Doesn't matter. I can't <laughs> tell the difference. There's a big difference between those two things. There is a big difference. It's a little high pitch, so it sounds like they're these little. Uh, oh. Like not quite children, because it sounds it's like the pitch of a child, but the laughter of an. You understand we what are, I'm trying to say here? It's, it's a witch. It's uh, a demon. I think it's Googlers. I think it's um, bet that we don't go that direction, Draenir. Well, but they're having a fun... We aren't here for a fun time. We're here for scales. Well, right, but don't you figure that the party people will know where the scales are, maybe? They live here, or party here, at least. Just, how about you just trust me on this one? And let's go well, the other direction. Whichever direction is the other direction <laughs> left, left to right for us. All right, so you hear the laughter coming from this direction over here. 
So we are uh, not going that direction. We're going the other direction. All right, so <laughs> if you're coming into the cave, the left is coming from your right. Y'all are going to go to the left? Yes. Yes. Okay. As you start to go that way, uh, I would like for you to all roll me another perception check. What the heck? Okay. okay. I'm okay, terrible at this. I got a whole Ooh. stick. I, I got a... I got a 13. 13? Yeah. I got a 15. Yeah, 15. All right. So, Janir and Astrid, y'all hear a very faint cry for help. Oh, no. And, but <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from the right. Wait, is the that laughter in direction? The other direction? Yeah. As in, this, it's coming from the same direction as the laughter. Okay, now what, Corvus? It sounds turn... like somebody needs help. Yeah. Yeah, I think I someone hear someone, I see someone calling from that direction. It, it, it's obviously a, it's still a witch demon. We're fine. Well, what if it's not though what if somebody wanted to go party with them and then it turned out to be bad like you were just saying and now they're in a danger what if you were right and now you're wrong mm. I think I agree with Drenir maybe we should at least maybe quietly go check it out Astrid you're a you're a pip can maybe pip can go check it out and we'll just continue on this way. Mm. See, we w we could, but he wouldn't Would be able like to tell us anything. Can't you? What, I thought you could talk to him. Well, what kind I of only, wood lady have... are you? I don't think we have okay, this kind of I'm, time, guys. I'm an apprentice. I'm not. I'm not the most powerful druid there ever was. Sorry. Pippin Aha! Just, so you are just a druid. Ferret. Okay. Okay, Mystic we can go the druid. other direction. <clears throat> I'll, Drenir I'll walks the briskly. Way. He'll lead the way? Of, of course. Alright. And I'll start walking that direction. And, hey, Corvus, uh, right. it's not that you're not super brave and stuff, but like, aren't you the ranged one? <laughs> well, can, can you see in the dark? Well, that's what I've got this handy-dandy torch for, no? Junior, if you would like to lead the way, I I just didn't want any of you to get hurt. But if you would prefer to lead the, the way, then... Yep, and I'll go guess. twice as fast as Corvus was moving. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following him. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to start speed walking <laughs> to catch up. Alright, so if y'all wouldn't mind moving, or can y'all move yourselves yet, or? No. Um, that's a no. We are still bound to your will. <laughs> well, we'll never own. escape that. How do I, oh, setting. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then there should be a little option that says, um. I got it. Oh, sweet, yeah. I just moved Astrid. Oh, hey, I can move my stuff. Corvus is yeah, my area. I'm first. All right, cool. I'm just kidding. Please don't oh, let me bye. be <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, so as y'all get closer and closer to this scene, what you see is a poor oh, minstrel no. being harassed by three pixies. What jerks? Are the, are the pixies, oh. like, really tiny? What do they look like? Uh, so these are very, they, they are relatively small. They're about a foot tall. Uh, yeah. With butterfly-like wings. Uh, despite oh. what the pictures say, they are of varying colors, not just green. So there's a green one, a red one, and a blue one. Ooh. Uh, they have been sitting here, and it looks like they're just kind of tugging at this guy's hair. And as he tries to swat them away, they fly off. And then whenever he puts his guard back down, they come back in and start tugging on his hair, and they're just harassing him. I got, uh, go, go, shoot, nothing shoot, malicious, get out of here, not go. hurting him. Get out of here. But it definitely go looks on, like they are having some fun. 
Oh. Relax, guys. I've got this one. <clears throat> hey, you quit it! Oh, calm down. And I'm gonna down. go over to them, and I'm gonna swap one, one away from him. Is this the okay. this, is this the minstrel that we saw in town, or what does he look like, or she look no, like? No, so this is a human male. Uh, he has blonde hair. He's of average height, uh, so probably around five, say eight to five ten. Uh, there's nothing notable about him, he, except for the fact that he has a loot on his back, and he is, uh, well, he had a loot on his back. One of the pixies has picked it up off of his back, and is kind of waving it around. He's trying to get it back. Okay, I does he have a torch? If, if, I'm sorry, Junior. What was that? Does he have a torch? He does not. Yes, if he had he, a torch. Uh, okay. Yeah, so he's he's just kind of stumbling around in the dark. Are the pixies like glowing? Are they shedding any light, or are they like not glowing pixies? I don't know. <laughs> they are shedding a little bit of light, so they they oh, do have okay. a little bit of bio bioluminescence to them. Uh, it's okay, magical. Okay. Cool. Uh, flying or flying? So yeah, it's pretty much magical fireflies. If I right. may, though, if if they're going to respond or if anything's going to happen before I choose to do this, I'm going to go and try and swat the loot out of one of their hands. Um, okay, so you're not going to try to intimidate them? Oh no, that was never. I mean, if they're intimidated by. I mean, that's up to them. My goal was not to intimidate them. My goal was just to tell them, well, stop. Sorry, did you yell out, hey, stop that? That's, yes, I did. And then right, I, I, was going, I was starting to walk up to them. All right, sick. Uh, uh, you know, I got a big old fat four. <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of um, laugh at you. I'm and four scary. one of them comes up. I'm sorry? I'm four scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, they all start to laugh at you. And uh, you hear you. It's kind of a mocking laugh. They're just kind of like, "Who, who is this guy? Why is he trying to scare us away?" And, and one of them comes over to you and starts trying to tug at your hair. Mm -mm. Starts trying to tug at my what? Your hair, much like what they've been doing to uh, this minstrel. Okay, then I will respond by trying to swat that one away. Uh, angrily. So, oh, is that an unarmed strike? Or can, can I just swat? Uh, if you choose to swat, it will not cause damage. Right. Uh, but if you want to attempt an unarmed strike, you can. Well, an unarmed strike literally does zero damage for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, yeah, In you're good. You one arm. I got a 16! Alright, you make contact with it, and it immediately turns invisible and runs away. Wait, what about the one with the loot? Oh wait, the loot's the not one, invisible. The, no, the one, the other two are still harassing the minstrel. All of you are rude. And that's not how you treat people. Give me that loot. Um, as you start saying this, your tur you have a torch, right? He has dark vision. I do not. You do not have a torch? No, Drenir and Aster Drenir have does. a torch. I, yeah. I gave oh, okay. them my torches. I have I have eight in my bag. Drenir, your torch goes out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh-oh. Magic. Was it a gust of wind See, or was it just like just a... Just magically a, went out. I believe it was magic because I know things about magic. Is it still like embery? Uh, a little bit. And it's still it's still a little hot, but it's I mean the, there's no more fire. Let's see, At, say, when that happens, right I'm yeah. When that happens, I'm gonna call out to the pixies, say, "Just cut it out. We're we're just just leave them alone. We're just trying to come, just pass by and help this guy. Leave him alone." And Will that like? Can I try to persuade them? You can. Uh, what languages do you speak? Oh, do they like? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Common and druidic and elvish and giant Excuse and draconic. 
Okay, roll at disadvantage. Oh, ooh. okay. <laughs> what do I know about pixies? Uh, you can roll a or. I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> They do not care at all about what you're saying. What did you want me to roll? I'm sorry. Uh, nature check. Uh, nature? <clears throat> yes. Four. <laughs> you don't know about them. You know for the nature. Yeah. So you, what you know about them is the fact that they are mischievous and they can glow because you've just experienced mm. that. Excellent. <laughs> Okay. Well, All right, so when you say wait, so when you say that they're small, like how small are they? Are they like are we talking like teeny? How small are they? Like Tinkerbell well, size about, or what? No, they're about a foot tall. So uh, imagine about your uh, maybe the length of your forearm. Imagine your foot. No, um, <laughs> I mean, that, your forearm. That's, that's a foot. Okay, people, so yeah. kind your of forearm is about the same size as your foot, as it turns out. Could I, would I be overstepping any bounds if I were to walk up to the one with the loot and try and swat it away? I mean, try you can and try. Finagle it out of her hands. Uh, would I be able to use sleight of hand? Um. How what your reach is, uh, you can reach up to like six or seven feet, eight feet. I would have to walk up to or to the pixie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. I want to say it's gonna be a contested strength check. Uh, uh, okay, that's fine. It's a pixie. Not when you roll that nat one, though. Well, I rolled a, a 13. Alright. You successfully wrestle. And by wrestle, I mean you just take it like it's candy from a baby. Uh, the loot from this pixie. And I, I'll... Uh, oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, this pixie, after you take the loot back from it, gives you a dirty look and sticks her tongue out at you, and then proceeds to uh, try to yank some of your hair out. Uh, I'm going to let her for now, kind of just trying to hold her back as much as I can with my hand, like swatting at her, but like, or him, I don't know what pixies are. Um, but I'm going to, while she's, or it, female. is doing that, that's what I thought. Here you go, sir. I assume this belongs to you. Uh, the uh, bard looks at the loot and says, or not the bard, the minstrel. The minstrel looks at the loot and says, thank you very much. Uh, these stupid woodland creatures have been giving me such a hard time ever since I got here. Yeah, yeah stupid woodland creature. Would it be fair to assume mm -hmm. that everybody in the cave is frustrated? Uh, Everyone's in a cave I'm not frustrated. that is not a pixie is probably I'm frustrated sure. unless otherwise stated. I'm not frustrated. So the the minstrel is certainly frustrated. He's been fighting with these pixies for what seems to be a good little while, enough to be openly aggravated. Okay. I uh I use three of the thaumat thaumaturgy effects. I increase my volume to three times its normal amount. I increase the Ooh. brightness of Astrid's still lit torch, uh, and I cause harmless tremors in the ground. Uh, and I say, "Enough is enough." Oh, the fix. Can you roll for intimidation at advantage? I want to roll for quarts of tea in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, intimidation is I hmm, plus zero. Excellent. So nineteen. All right, you successfully scare off all of the pixies. Ha ha! Corvus too. <laughs> Take that, Drenir. Uh, 
that was... I angrily grab Astrid's torch and light my own with hers. Mm. That was impressive. I didn't think yeah. you had that in you. I will, I'll walk over to the, the minstrel and say, uh, I'm Corvus. Corvus Kass. And I'll extend my hand. I, uh, he shakes your hand and he says, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, my name's Siggy. Uh, I'm a, a traveling minstrel. I, I hope to go to learn more about the bardic arts, but, um, uh, unfortunately I just, A, I don't have the, the resources and B, I'm stuck in this, uh, unfor unforgivable forest. Uh, and, you know, I thought a cave might give me some refuge for the night. But unfortunately, I came across those awful woodland creatures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak up, and I'm gonna ask. So, why are you, why are you so far up the mountain? Uh, you know that the town is a, is quite a bit of ways. Yes. Well, I come from the north, uh, and I thought the forest could be a shortcut, and disregarded our elders' warnings. Uh, hmm. I guess I'm paying the price for it now because these stupid woodland creatures will not leave me alone. And he seems very, very agitated about these fixes. Yes, they are annoying, but you seem well, to have a hatred yeah. for them. Well, you well, see... Well, when you've been contending you... with them for the past 30 minutes. I'm sorry, well, Ashley, what were you saying? No, I was just going to say, I'm going to tell them, well, yes, if you... If they can tell that you're angry, then they're going... They, that kind of eggs them on. A bit. They're they're mischievous, mischievous. I can't even say it. Mischievous like that. Yes, eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so he uh, he inquires about uh, the rest of your names, uh, and you, sir. Uh, what is your name? You are quite loud over there. I kind of um, disregard him and say, we're looking for uh, scales. Do you know where they are? Oh. And uh, he says, no, I, I'm afraid I haven't really been able to explore much of the forest I've been, or much of the cave. I've, been, I've only gotten this far and those stupid things found me and start harassing me. <laughs> All right, let's keep going then. Um, Hold okay, on. Okay. <laughs> and then yeah. he turn he turns to the the druid and says, "And who might you be?" Um, my name is Astrid. Astrid. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And what's your uh, name? Your friend oh, over here seems a little. Yeah. Yeah. Your friend over here seems a little agitated. Yeah, I don't really know what that's all about, but um. He just, we're, we're working on a job, and I guess he just really wants to get it done. Oh, well, maybe I can play a song for y'all, so I'll continue on. Um. Well. Are you well, any good? I would like to think so, but, uh, I didn't get too many tips when I was playing back at my hometown. Hmm. Well, maybe we should wait, then. Siggy. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, <laughs> well, it's just we're I, in a cave, and I don't want to attract may, anything else. There may Sorry, be what? more dangerous creatures than these pixies, and with your playing, it could attract them. Though, whenever we're out of the cave, I'd be delighted to hear a song. But maybe we should deal with Drenir first. Drenir, what has gotten into you? What are you talking about? We haven't got time for this idlest pr prattle. Let's get going. Ooh. Well, we do need a moment. This minstrel, we want to make sure he doesn't want to backstab us. So we do have some time that can be spared. The minstrel looks at you and says, <sighs> You think that I would backstab you? I... Sirs, I, I promise you, I... I have no such skill with the weapon, and he kind of passed himself down to show that he's like he doesn't have anything of great value. He says, "You know, my my loot is the only thing of importance here, and 
Um, thankfully, I was able to get it back. Look, you seem like a nice guy, but I've backstabbed people for less than helping getting a, an instrument back. I just don't know you. Plain mm. But you're welcome to come with us. We're just going to keep our eye on you. All right. He kind of uh, looks at you warily, and he, uh, he'll kind of shuffle away from you. And he'll go and talk with Astra because she seems like the one who he's most likely to trust at this point. And he asks, "When he, yeah, what? What did he ask?" Oh, he, he asks, uh, "Why are you hanging out with these people? They seem quite rude." You know, I'm not really sure. We we started on this. We I thought that it was going to be some big adventure, but we're kind of just collecting ingredients for some spell for some witch in the woods. But after this, you're trying to go to Eeg, right? Uh, yeah. I think that's the name of the town. Uh, okay. You mentioned a, a, a witch? Yeah, in the in these woods. this These woods are full of kind of magical creatures and people. At, and... The, at the mention of the witch, he kind of gets startled. And he is uh, a little worried about the thought of a witch being in the same woods that he's in. I'm gonna I'm, when I so, when I notice I'm like it's it's okay she she seems she seems kind from what I've seen and <clears throat> or at least not evil and she's gonna pay us so if you help then maybe she'll give you something too I don't know and then we can all go back to Eeg. Because by now, I really, I should, I should have been getting back hours ago, but I suppose it's too late now. Literally. Yeah, well. Yeah. I, I, I do need to, do need to carry on, but unfortunately, I, I'm not very well equipped. I was not anticipating something along these lines. I'm not the best prepper. Um, so I, I would love to tag along with you guys if you'll have me. Yeah. You're probably we would, we safer would, with we us. We leave someone here. Exactly. Oh, thank you guys so much. Uh, Drenier, what are you doing during this time? Walking. What? Uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of assumed we were all like we were talking while we were walking. All right, so uh, let me free up so much space. But I'm like stamping. <laughs> all right, where are y'all walking to? Left or right? So, can we can we roll to is, see if we hear? Can I roll to see if I hear anything from either side? Uh, you can. All right. Oof. I got <laughs> I got a seven. You guys are not doing too well. Yeah, I don't know. What are we rolling for? Here, do you have some sort of a magical detect? Drake scale thingy. Um. Um. No, no. Why would I have something like that? I don't know. You just seem to know about magic stuff, so I thought you might have something. What about you, Astrid? Or you, Sir Minstrel? Oh, uh, I, I don't know too much about magic. I'm, I'm just learning. And he kind of looks down sheepishly, almost like ashamed of himself. It's it's fine. It's fine. We don't know anything about it either, apparently. <clears throat> well, well, Asher has a response. Well, again. well, again, Which... I, I'm not. I don't think I have. No, I don't think I have that spell memorized to track dragon scales, but. Well, th- like, aren't you aren't you a tracker, Corvus? Or don't you? Is there? Can you not figure out a way, like, to see if we're going the right way or something? I, well, I could probably figure something out. Just give me a moment. All uh, right, then. Can I roll? So I know survival. Could I roll investigation? 
uh, to see maybe if I see some uh, Drake tracks or or even giant's footprints that I might be able to follow. Uh, yeah, you could. Okay. That'd be survival or best. Okay, sweet. Uh, well, oh, that's nothing. I got a 13 total. What the? 13 total. Okay, so what you notice is there's a little bit more scuff marks on the ground going towards this path. Ah, they must have gone this way. Junior, to the right. Uh, even though when I see them, I'm probably actually more nervous. <laughs> considering they could be something more dangerous than we thought. But that's the direction I'm saying we're going to go. Okay. So as you head over this way, uh, you notice it's a relatively small tunnel. Um, Junior, do you have an aura up right now? Yeah, I just figured I'd show you the torch radius. I can turn it off if you'd like. Oh, no. Uh, if that's the case, I will go ahead and start revealing areas. Well, yeah, well, we wouldn't be able to look else. down that one. Oh, y'all could have seen it from the crossway. Oh, yeah. I can't. Uh, we can't move the little minstrel boy. Yeah, he's mine to move. Okay. Alright, y'all see another one of Pixies. I wave. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, the bard, uh, Siggy, uh, looks at her and is in utter disgust, and he kind of holds very tightly to his loot, wanting very desperately not for it to get stolen again. Yeah, Siggy, you might want to hang back for a second. Your arch nemesis is ahead of us. Trunier, Astrid, should we go handle this? Yes, we should. And maybe we can try to not get so agitated and we'll have a better better luck this time. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. do my best. <clears throat> All right. And I'm going to start walking forward, assuming Junior has continued without us. And approach the pixie. Junior, were you, right. were you stomping ahead? Or? Uh, I'm not angry anymore. <laughs> All right. Cool. I will say this is kind of a single file line, so uh, I think it's Asterix who's a little out of bounds. So we're gonna move her back to square. There we go. Um, I'm, uh, I'm so in the, in I've got a small chasm. question about the map that we're on. I'm sorry. I've got a small question about the map that we're on. You see over here What's in like that? this area, it looks like it's like a cliff drop. Is that cliff drop like everywhere? No. So the black spots just walls. These are all tunnels. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Cliff drops are actual cliff. Like that's. A, it's a lower level. Okay. Uh, so you guys see a pixie sitting on top of a chest. Oh. She's Hello. sitting there. She's kind of. She's pointing at you and laughing. Uh. Do any of y'all, Junior? What languages do you have again? <laughs> All of them. Oh, yeah, uh, I've got <laughs> Sylvan, which is probably the one you're looking for. That is the one I'm looking. So you hear her say, uh, are y'all looking for something? And she'll uh, reach down into the chest and uh, pick up a blue scale. Oh, yeah. I want that thing. What? I don't know what you said, but it sounded, it sounded like you were going to give us that thing in your hand. Uh, I don't know if she speaks common. She does not respond at all, but she kind of looks at you like, what are you saying? Yes, actually, we're looking for those. Uh, and Sylvan. She, yeah. Uh, she she looks at you and she says, oh, you are? Mm -hmm. And she starts pulling out a bunch of them, and she's just throwing them everywhere. Like, she's making an absolute mess. Oh, does, the, the does one drop near me? <laughs> She does not drop any near y'all, but she's kind of throwing them behind her into this area right back here. Over here. So she's kind of like chucking them back, chuck, chucking them behind her. And uh, she is just having a fun time making an absolute mess. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, that's fine. Does she know the giants live here? I'll just walk past her. <laughs> and just go pick up As one you randomly. Her, uh, I would like for you to make a... Gosh, there's not really good... an acrobatics check, I guess. So okay. Okay. Acro? All right, 19 total. Right. It's it's really just a can you dodge her attack, and you do successfully oh. dodge her attack. You could roll her, just her ranged attack, or her or her dex, like just her dex plus raw dex, dex, dex. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, your dex versus his AC. Even doing that, she is not successful in doing anything oh, towards right. him, and she just kind of flips around, flits around him, uh, and uh, in general, just kind of harasses him, but doesn't really do anything malicious. I'd like to pick up three scales. Uh, <laughs> as you start picking them up, she starts racing for the scales. So, uh, can you roll a slide check? Mm. Oh, well, it's not as good. Let's see if I have sleight of hand. Oh, plus one, uh, fourteen. All right, so you're able to grab two of them of the three that you've aimed for, but she is able to successfully snag the third one away from you. Okay. Um, Would you, you care about them, or you want to throw them on the ground? Make up your mind, pixie lady. I do not leave them in my hands. I put them like in an inner breastplate pocket behind my chain, chain mail. Um, like I stuff okay, it well, into my armor. All right, as you do that, you uh, you see another pixie just kind of appear, and it is uh, going to try to go through uh, Corvus's pockets. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to swat her away. No, ma'am. May I roll to hit her? You can. You can certainly roll to hit her. I'm going to swap the heck out of her with the whole 11 and uh do you... zero damage if I hit at all. You do not hit her and uh she does tease you as you miss. Well, that's rude. And, uh, Janiri, do you hear her say the word, uh, weakly? I get her. Uh, she starts taunting, uh, Corvus and Silver. She says, he's so weak. He can't even hit me. He's so slow. And as she's saying, she's kind of moving very rapidly in her little box area where she's reciting. Um, so I'm gonna just, I'm, I wanna just try to, like, walk around and just pick up scales and just, like, ignore them. Okay, as you do that, uh, another pixie appears. And she's right up here. So I would like for you to, for the first, for the first scale that you pick up, I'd like you to do a dex check. Okay. So rude. I'm not a fan of the pixie. <laughs> okay. Um. So for for a dex check, that's that's not a saving throw, right? That's just. No, it's just take your modifier. It's just a, pl it's just a plus one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a fourteen. Okay. So she snags it away from you, and she, as she does it, she. Uh, uh, flips her wings and does a gust of wind against you. Nothing harmful, but enough to where like it's a very uh, uh, solid gust of wind. That kind of is just like it's, it seems like it's a little bit more than what her wings could produce. I'm just gonna ignore and try to pick up another one. Uh, this pixie right here looks at you. Uh, sorry, this pixie right here looks at you, uh, and oh, I'll say just for placement, you're back here. I don't know, wherever she threw the scales, you said they're like all back here. Yeah, right? it would be back yeah, there. They're all, they're all back here. Mm -hmm. So Janir's over there too, probably. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, place yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really uh, so the pixie that's on the bottom side of the chest, she she looks at the the scales that you're trying to pick up, and she uh, makes flowers bloom all around them, trying to throw you off. I mean, flowers. <clears throat> does it work? Don't you? <laughs> I think I, I would be able to. I think I would. I don't. I don't think so. That How is, would I? Is, oh, wisdom save probably. Yeah, was that what is that? It's not a save or anything. Just, oh, yeah. You know, are you, do you happen to be distracted by the flowers? No. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Okay. <laughs> can I Good. pick it's one up again? <laughs> stupid flowers. Yeah, you can. Feel free. We only right. need right. one scale, right? Yeah. At this point, I'm yeah, gonna turn around and one. start to leave. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna pick one up and I'm gonna well. start walking out. But I'm like clutching all, right. all of my stuff as best I can. Yeah. Um. My worry is that they're going to follow us. One turn invisible earlier. So as we're running out, that's. I mean, I'll say that. Uh, but guys, and protect I, your I, pocket. I, oh. Yeah. I'm gonna put my scale in the pocket with Pip, and Pip's gonna hold on to the scale for me. <laughs> okay. If you're near. Do you have those boggled? I check for my boggle teeth. Uh, roll a perception check. Let's see if they're actually there. Oh, balls. God, if I could roll on the table. <laughs> Natural one. You're, you, oh, you, you notice that a few of them are missing. How many? You still have, you still have a majority of them. Okay. But a little less than half of them are missing. You had, what, 10? No, I had way more. I had, like, 23. Okay. So you notice that 11 of them are missing. Oh, 21. Not exactly, but uh, uh, around, like, 9 to 10 are missing. If you say 21. Yeah. Okay, so I'm down to 10. Oh, down to 11. That's fine. It's uh, We've still got enough. Let's go. I, I clutch the, the bag. Good thing you... Grabbed extra. Siggy, move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna push past him and start running. Alright, well, he is chasing after y'all despite what the map says. Okay. Uh, Asher, I assume you're moving with him. Yep. Yes. So my All plan right. is to run straight out of this cave. Alright. So y'all go back to the outside of the map. Now, uh, from here, y'all have a decision. Are y'all going to go talk with the unicorn, or are y'all going to go try to find the... Uh, I'm moving. Um, are y'all going to go talk with the unicorn, or are y'all going to go talk with... Uh, or are y'all going to go try to find the Pegasus? I think we should go talk mm -hmm. to the unicorn and get that dealt with. Plus, we can see him from here, because he has got a light shining off yeah. of him. He's like a beacon right now. Beacon boy. And maybe camping near him would not be the worst. And then we can focus on the Pegasus tomorrow. Is that what okay. Corpus is saying? they're nocturnal or something. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I agree with you. I think we should go back to the unicorn. I think we could use a break, honestly. I could use a rest. Okay. So what uh, we're like? Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna. We're about an hour away from the unicorn, right? Like walking. Yes, you are. Okay. So nice that we headed back that direction. Okay. Uh. Do y'all have anything that you would like to talk about on the way there, or is it just yeah. kind of a silent yeah. trudge there? I uh I take the uncomfortable scales out of my scale mail and put them in the bag with the boggle teeth. Okay. Siggy, are you fine staying in the woods for, for another night? Well, if I had to do it by myself, I would be a little concerned, but I think I can. I think it'll be a lot easier if I'm with someone. Uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that I was able to come across you guys. So, yeah, as we're walking... Oh, sorry, what? Continue. Sorry. Well, no, I was I gonna just... ask. What 
brought you to the, the forest specifically. We got warned by pointing at Astrid, by her teacher, not to come here at all. And we have weapons and know how to fight, but you're here with the loot and are getting harassed by pixies. What? What brings you here, of all places? Well, uh, I'm from the, the city to the north, uh, so for me, this is a, a, almost a southern forest. Um, but uh, I, I need to get to Eek, and I, I knew the way. I knew there was a way around here. And people had told me to take that path, but I was feeling adventurous, and I thought they were just all a bunch of nursery stories, basically, to keep the kids away from the woods. Um, I was not prepared for the absolute danger that I was in. How much does he lose his mind when we walk past the giants? Well, I don't think uh, we walked past the giants. Yeah, y'all wouldn't walk past him. Y'all, y'all might hear him, but y'all wouldn't uh, see them. Oh, okay. Uh, um, well, I'm surprised you made it this far. How far north is your village or city or wherever you're from oh it's about a six hour oh that's actually not that bad still crazy you made it this far you're almost to eek you've only got a few hours left well oh, I, I had no idea but uh, I was about six hours away and um and I, like I said, I did, I've been harassed by small woodland creatures, and I thought the cave would give me some sort of refuge, but unfortunately, it, it did not. Maybe. Well, we're, we met a unicorn earlier, believe it or not, and it seemed like a safe place for us to stop. We think that that's where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be quite the thing to see. And maybe even inspire a new song. Mm. Hey, if it's a good um, one, I wouldn't mind listening to. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna add, I want. I'm gonna ask Siggy. I'm gonna say. So, um, why why are you trying to go to E? Because uh, I've lived there my whole life, and no offense, I don't see a reason why anyone would ever try to go there. Well, I I just wanted to leave my hometown. I, I I'm so bored there. And, most of our travelers come from uh, Eeg. Uh, they're, they're the merchants. So I, I figured that it'd be a, a better place to be than where uh, I was. Well, I think I think you're going to have to keep looking, but at least it'll be a stop. Sounds like my kind of travel just to get out of where I'm from, so I understand that. Well, it's good to know that I'm not alone in that endeavor. I'm gonna actually walk up to Janir while they're talking. Janir, what happened back there? Why did you get so... Why are you so... Like, your mood is shit. Like, what, what is wrong with you? Oh, yeah. Well, I, th I thought I had told you. Uh, did you? Yeah, I told you I'm a Kalashtar. Okay, well, to be fair, I don't even know what that is. Does that mean you have violent mood swings? Mm, I guess you might say that, but what it mostly is is... Hmm, how to explain? Have you ever been underwater before? Yes. And you know how you can still kind of hear things, but everything's kind of muffled and muted? Yeah. Well, that's what emotions are for me. I don't really have much of my own. I do. I know what they are. They're just quieter, softer. So what ends up happening is I just emulate whatever emotion is around me. Really? Mm -hmm. So what was that with the giants earlier then? Oh, you know, well, it was kind of a combination of things. So you're really funny, and they're really laid back because they had absolute power over us, so there's nothing for them to worry about. So the fusion of the two things is kind of just somebody who hangs out. And you're fully 
be aware of this. You well, can't do anything to control it? I, not much. It's not really something I can control. Can you control when you get angry? Well, better than I used to. Mm. It's something you learn over time. Do you not know how to... I just figured, I'm sorry, I figured somebody cut from the cloth sort of mastery over something like that. You're, you're just interesting. You're not what I expected, but none of this has been so far, so it, it's a it's a welcoming change of pace. Just interesting is all. Yeah, lots of people say that. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, <clears throat> onward. Alright, so any more conversations before y'all get to the unicorn? I, I think I'm ready, unless mm. Astrid yeah, or Veneer have that's something. That's all I wanted to say. Alright, so y'all approach the unicorn's lair. That makes it sound quite sinister, but it's not. <laughs> I thought he was like just sitting outside. He is. Uh, so this area, it's a little bit of a uh, a dead part in the woods. Uh, there's not a lot of life here. Um, mm -hmm. Consequently, it helps to mask the, uh, well, it helps to mask some of the radiance coming off of the unicorn. Uh, obviously, not a lot, as y'all were still able to see it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you see the unicorn there. He's looking as happy as can be. Uh, he speaks with, uh, he, he greets uh, Dronir. He says, uh, "About how was the task of uh, defeating uh, Drake?" <clears throat> so in Celestial, yeah, I, I can hear, I can hear him too. Yeah, so he's speaking yeah. telepathically to everyone, but he is speaking. And uh, Elvish was the one that we all shared. Yeah, he's speaking yeah, in Elvish. That he can oh, hear okay. us. Okay. So yeah. he's particularly speaking to Trenier because Trenier was the right. first one to interact. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll respond in Celestial, um, just because it's telepathic anyway. Right. Um, you can't hear me. <laughs> well, no, he's, he's speaking very openly telepathically to all the like, oh, you all hear me. Oh, we're all linked together? Uh, yeah, don't you, you offend don't know me. about that yet. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll still stick in you Celestial. <laughs> Huh? I'll stay in Celestial then, because I would assume, like, I would assume that we can all hear him, but only he can hear me. Okay. Um, so yeah, in with Celestial, I'll respond with, um, as it stands, the the guard Drake you encountered is owned by the Storm Giants. We've talked to them about the incident, and they've assured us that they'll keep a closer eye on him. Uh, the unicorn looks a little disapproving at you uh, because he did expect uh, a little bit of uh, punishment for the guard Drake's transgression. Uh, but he does he does say uh, so long as it doesn't happen again, then I, I guess we'll. I'll let this slide this one time, but I will bring swift punishment upon that Drake should it harm me again. As a consolation prize, though, I do have this scale. Now, I don't know what the magical properties of such a thing would be, but maybe it could be made into some kind of cool armor for you, or it can just be broken down with material components. I'm not really quite sure. But you guys are kind of magical, and dragons are kind of magical. Maybe... Maybe this will help. The guard Drake looks at you and he looks down at his uh, hooves and he says, Is this what you call a joke? I don't know. Uh, with that, he, he uh, turns to Corvus and he says, uh, You there, you seem to have a smaller blade on you. Uh, would you care to take a little bit of my meat? You cannot take all of it, but you may take a small portion. You did help me out nonetheless. Uh, thank you. Yes, 
Uh, would you prefer I take it from the mane or the tail? Uh, the back of the mane. Understood. Less, no less um, noticeable there. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, and as I'm cutting it, uh, I'm going to add. And if you wouldn't mind, is this a safe place we were thinking of making camp for the night? There are very few safe places in the forest. Uh, but I promise you that I will help keep watch over y'all. Y'all need to rest. <laughs> Thank you for helping us out again. Uh, I wish I knew what to call you, but you say you don't have names, so Mr. Unicorn? No, I'll he bow. said we have a name. Oh, wait, you're telepathic. Never mind. Thank you. And I'll hold up the lock of hair and dangle it. Like, we got it. I'll extend the open bag with all the other stuff. Yeah, I'll drop it in. Uh, I'm going to tie it up first, like in a little rubber band. And then I'm going to drop it in. Wait, how'd you get Not a rubber band. Not not a rubber band, but a, a band of some kind. Maybe, I don't know. A, I have a, rubber, I say, a bandage. I have bandages. I'll use a bandage to keep it together. Okay. So. I'm and I'll drop table. it in the. Putting it inside of a piece of cloth is the more historically accurate thing to do. Just saying so you know. But I don't have anything. But, regardless, that works. So, uh, you guys do get a full rest in. Sick. Uh, full, Good. full long rest. Oh, uh, excellent. I was think we should, since we're going shorter tonight, you think now would be a good time to just take a pause? Yeah, so let's take a five, ten minute break and, uh, Okay. It's, it's we'll 9 08, so we can round up. You want to come back at 9 20? Uh, let's do 915. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Cool. All right, guys. Hey. We'll see you then. All right. So, y'all have just arisen from a long rest after uh, being guarded by a unicorn. Can't say that every day. Yeah, that was sick. Uh, do I feel As extra rested? Yes, so each of you gain five temporary hit points. Ooh. Oh, sick. Oh, nice. Dude, we're bringing this unicorn having... with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, make sure that you are all at max HP. Make sure you have your temporary hit points. How did... um, oh, I see. Okay. Cool. And Bye. so, y'all now have... What time, what time of day is it? It is morning. It is a uh, bright morning. Uh, the sun is just now coming up. The unicorn kind of nudged you each awake with its horn. Uh, Ouch. Yeah, <laughs> you don't take any damage from it. That's actually what gives you the extra five hit points. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but it is, it is a weird sensation being woken up by a unicorn. Uh... You each now have something a little special in common. Are we uh, slightly gay here? I'm sorry? Are we slightly gay? Uh, no. Oh no. Only your know, character and hair was. No. Don't lie, Corbin. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm a Christian. Um, okay, so cool. We wake up and we feel a little better. Just as straight as we were the day before. Yeah. So and not. As I, when I wake up, I kind of I like look towards the direction of Eeg, and I look really like nervous and breaking the, the law, Astrid. Not... It's not really a law and she broke. I turn around. I would turn around when you said that. I said, "Yeah, I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get so grounded. I really With your am. dad." Grounded? I mean, he's my caretaker. I, yes, he. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Huh. He's. I mean, I don't have. I mean, he's raised me, so yeah. 
I I just I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to bring something back for him. Well, maybe we what? can get the Pegasus feather right, dealt with quickly. Yeah. And head back to Boda, and we'll be free to go. Uh, yeah. So unicorn. Let's hope so. Do you know anything about Pegasi? Pegasuses? Are they violent? Or is there anything we should know that you know before we talk to them? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them violent, but they. They're very. Um, sorry, this is Jake trying to come up with the word. Uh, they're very timid. They they don't like to interact very much with uh, everyday people, and so you'll have to forgive them if they seem a little skittish. Ah, uh, maybe we could. I don't know. Maybe they'll drop some feathers when they fly away or we wouldn't have to even deal with them though I'd kind of like to honestly never seen a pegasus before I've never seen a unicorn either but pegasus can fly uh sorry that was rude I appreciate all the help you've given us Mr. Unicorn I truly do not deserve it I hope we meet again uh thank you for the hair Guys, you ready? Yep. Oh, you're uh, done making a fool of yourself? Kind of stares at you, and uh, overall, just shakes his head like a uh, like he's humanoid. Over to how, how silly you are. I'm not <laughs> silly. I I'm... gave him like a little like half bow as we turn to walk away. Just I give him a full deep bow. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what is the marching order? Aye, aye. Astrid, you know your way around this forest considering you lived on the edge of it and that's more than either of us know. I suppose. Um, Chase, what, what I like from learning about like being around the forest and stuff, what I know like any kind of area where there might be Pegasus that we should go? I know that the Unicorn did mention on mountaintops. Uh, obviously we can see one on the map, but... <laughs> Just would that, I know anything that else actually, that would help did us, actually yeah. mention. Okay. But would I do I know anything else about Pegasus that might help us? Can I roll for it or something? I don't know. Uh yeah, roll a nature check. Okay. Did Siggy play any songs while we were yes. camping? Were they so, good? Uh, um that's a one. <laughs> He played some fantastic songs, some of the best songs you've ever heard. Uh, and honestly, it might have challenged your idea or his uh, statement that uh, it, he, it might challenge his statement that he got kicked that, or that he was uh, dissuaded from playing in his hometown. Uh, he performed so well. Siggy. So he- I only need you to write a song about us one day. But we Maybe haven't done anything. <clears throat> and I just had to say that, and I'm ready to move on. What's he gonna yeah, write? Also, I got a one Marching through the to woods, see if I know anything they about go, unicorns. They go. I mean, Pegasus. Yeah, so you know that they are white horses with wings. Ah, oh, yes. <clears throat> May I roll? We should. Yes. I think that they would be on the mountain top. Actually, because that's what the unicorn yeah, yeah. told us. <laughs> so with that natty so one, is how it... long does it take us to find the actual Pegasi? Us. <laughs> the well, Pegasi. You can keep the nat one, or you, one of you, could ro- roll survival. Survival? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll keep the nat one. <laughs> uh, no, probably not, but... 
Can I roll for what I know about them? I mean, I don't know where they'll be, but like, I, for facts. Uh, what did you roll for, uh, for them? Uh, what do you want me? I have the numerical dice, but what skill? Um, let's say for you, because it wouldn't be anything natural about it. Let's say it's probably Arcana. 19. Or, uh, uh, it's not a great one for that. Let's say history. We'll say it's a history check. Oh, let's, let's, let's good. Uh, 15. <laughs> Uh, 15? Yeah. Okay. So, you know that Pegasi has been used as mounts for royalty, uh, particularly kings, uh, and that they tend to uh, um, Oh, sorry. And that they're usually sent to the mater- sent to uh, Amir by the gods, but nobody really knows which god sends them. Mm. But you've definitely read about them. Like they're common enough that people write about them. You know, being a cleric, you've probably come into contact with other clerics who have uh, come in contact with Pegasi, uh, or you know, you've heard uh, from a friend from a friend of a friend. <clears throat> well, Junior, <clears throat> ah, Pegasi. I remember when I used to have one of those, riding on the back of a Pegasi, watching over my kingdom. Glorious times. As my eyes roll back. Oh my. I'm doing the thing again, Astrid. Um, yeah. We're... Drenir, is that it's a Kalashtar kind of thing but... too? What is a Kalashtar, friend? Freaked out by it. Our... Siggy is freaking out. Siggy, it's okay, I think. He didn't hurt us last time he did this. Now, there's no need to fear, for I am here. Who? What? Mm. Yes, you've been here the whole time. The whole time, you say? I've only just arrived. What? And the eyes roll back forward. <clears throat> so what I miss? Okay, Draenir, you have got to stop doing that. Doing what? I don't know what it is, but it is really creepy. Look, you, your, you get possessed by demons every once crazy. in a while. Demons? Oh, that's a first. We have to deal with that. Deal with what? Your demon possession, but... Look, okay. So we know a little bit more... What do we do now? We need to find a pegasus, or at least their feathers or something. We know they're on a mountaintop. I guess we just go there and look up, I suppose, and maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Yeah, so how long How long does it take us? Okay, so I actually, I, I looked up the scale of the mountain climb over the two-week period, and I severely over underestimated how much time it would take. Depends it's on the mountain. Take, yes, well, this is one of the largest mountains in the forest. Uh, it's going to take you a little while to get there. Okay. Looking at maybe six six hours. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we're not. Are we climbing to the very top, or like, are we just kind of going up and like looking around for, like, are are the Pegasus at the very very top of the mountain? You are more than happy to do so, and I'll give y'all uh, each uh, two tries to try to find a Pegasus feather on the way up. Uh, All right. But you feel almost certain that there's probably one at the top. of uh, okay. What kind yeah, of ultimate do we need to make? I got uh, investigation. I got our It's going to be survival. Survival. Maybe we nature. should... What What kind of, um... What kind of outfits do we have on us? Maybe we can make one of us look, like, really royal. Uh... That... Did you're, say you're, that? You're the yeah. closest to us. You're the closest. Me? 
Yeah, I'm. I look down down at my like my like woodsy villagers' clothes. I'm like, yeah, uh, nothing about me really screams royalty. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wearing I don't think so. fur and hide. You think my is scale your... mail is imposing? More than anything we've got. Okay. And we have a bard that could help you out, possibly. Do we have like one of those fancy cape robe things? I mean, you're wearing a uh, cloak. Yeah, that's not fancy. Siggy looks at y'all and he says, "What do you mean I can help you? I, I'm, I have nothing." Yes, but you're a bard, and famous people, noteworthy people, have bards following them. That's kind of a thing, isn't it? We could use that to our advantage, make make Jernir appear more noble. Oh, I, I see where you're getting at that. Uh, sure, I'll... I, I guess I could play. Alright, I'll help him with guidance. Alright, well, even without guidance, he does a fantastic job of performing. Not quite as good as it was last night, but it is still quite... The uh, the songs that he's uh, singing there and playing. Is he uh, like proclaiming that we're royalty or something to draw on a Pegasus? Is that what's happening? Well, I don't yeah, know if so it'll. He's he's uh he's proclaiming out in common uh, that they're, they're all are royalty, and uh, he is a uh, he's he's doing it very loudly. So as we, yeah, I'm going to puff out my I'm chest and walk, stand perfectly straight. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk up to Junior. here. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder and look at you and say, <clears throat> Drenir, you are nobility. Mm. You are, <clears throat> you are worthy of riding a Pegasus. It is the only mount that is worthy of your glory. Do you understand me? I think I do, Squire. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. I need yes, all of you to give me either a performance, a deception, or a persuasion check. Probably I'm rolling at Decepticon, baby. Deception or performance? Oh, uh, not okay. persuasion? <laughs> No. Uh, you know, you know, I got a natural one, so a five, but natural oh. one. Oh man! <laughs> that gets to go with my two. <laughs> the dice are not uh, favorable towards y'all today. <laughs> not on this one. We did pretty good against the pixies, though. Comes out in the wash. <laughs> um. Okay, so... I'm still hammering it up, even if it's poor. Yeah, so y'all are still at the base of the mountain. Y'all haven't quite started advancing up there. And you guys see nothing, hear nothing. Uh, and y'all can continue to trek up the mountain, or y'all can continue to try to ham it up. Uh, uh, that is up to y'all. I think as far as we're concerned, as far as we would know, I think we're good. Uh, considering Corvus knows very little about properness and uh, I think I think it's worth a shot let's go all right so y'all are gonna start going up the mountain mm, maybe we try again once oh, we yeah. get to a mountain top we talked about it. it was perfect well yeah but we were too low we, we went we didn't reach the right elevation I have to stand among high see my kingdom before me Yes, your your majesty. Mm, my majesty. Lord. Astrid laughs Holy a little bit. <laughs> Let's... If he's my squire, what does that make you? Are you my, my yes. chambermaid? Me? Who, wait, who, what did he say? Are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a squire and a bard and mm, a chambermaid? Uh, a ch um, yes. And 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 our mascot, our meal, our meal, 
Our what meal? You cut out, Andrew. Oh, our meal. Pip. Sorry, one. He said meal. We're gonna. He wants to eat your rodent. Oh, I'm eating it. She muted herself though. Yeah. So up the mountain we go. All right. Yep. Uh, as you guys ascend the mountain, uh, would y'all like to try to see if there are any? Uh, Which mountain are we going up? Feathers or pegasi on the way up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have an investigation of pretty good. If okay. That would help. Well, y'all are still within the first uh, two hours of ascending the mountain, so. Can I guidance him? Uh, you. I like help. Guide. So I, I can roll investigation. Yeah, you can. With the Tetra I'm making an investigatory roll. Oh, you know. No. It's perfect. I didn't. It's it's the best roll I could have gotten ever. I got roll, I, it's not that bad. With guide, it is a twelve. Okay. So what? You, so what? What kind of things can I roll to? You can roll nature or investigation. What about animal handling? No. You're not handling. <laughs> You are investigating or trying to find something in nature. I'm handling something that came off of an animal. <laughs> you're not even handling it. You're looking for it. I'm looking underneath the bush and I ain't finding nothing. Okay, I got a... Um, you said, what did you say, investigation or nature? Yes. Oh, well, nothing. So it's just a 16. I got a 16. Okay. So you also find nothing. Oh. Uh... Well, so y'all are y'all just completed the first two hours of your hike up. You have another four to go, uh, roughly, from what y'all can tell. Uh, well, what in what order are y'all going up the mountain? Astrid first. Or y'all continue your ascent. What happened? What'd you say? Astrid first. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll I'll lead. You know you 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 know the forest better than us. I mean, I suppose, but not by much. Yep. All right. So who's behind Astrid? Me. Trainer. Okay. Yep. And yeah, okay. where is uh, Corvus? Yeah, I'll chill in the back, and then Siggy can be behind me, and he'll go. <clears throat> yes. All right. So we've officially taken this into the realm of Bison. Holy Grail. Yeah, well, there's not the uh, point in having way, a bard. He doesn't have coconuts. I give him my coconuts. What do we even have him with us for, then? I'm sorry, but a swallow cannot carry coconuts, and coconuts <laughs> cannot be found in this climate. It doesn't matter if it's an African or a European swallow. <laughs> Anyways. What a waste. Siggy, All right. he's fired. <laughs> Siggy will play some songs along the way. Fine, uh, as long as they're good. Jernier, I would like for you to roll Perception at Advantage. Ooh, at Advantage. 21. Alright, so as you guys are walking, uh, you notice that wherever Astrid steps... Uh, the the grass tends to get a little bit greener. Uh, but it fades away very quickly whenever she stops stepping. Hey, like, uh, so she'll step down uh, about a radius of an inch or two around her foot will be a little bit greener than the rest. And then it will fade away. And this only lasts for about 30 minutes and then it stops. But it's it's tied to a location, or it's a an effect on her. It, it just seems like a strange effect that's going on with her feet whenever they come into contact with the ground. You oh. said for thirty minutes. Is that like it just started happening? 
yeah, so like it, it had just started occurring, and at, you know, as she's observing it, it lasts the sensation lasts for about 30 minutes as she's walking, and you know, he, he can inquire about it along the way if he wants, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. But hey, uh, hey, Astrid, yeah, are you uh, all human? Um, yes, she's part, I don't fair. know why I wouldn't be. Well, you know, um, I've never gross. seen a human, well, like, have what's going on with what you've got going on. Um, excuse me? Your feet. <laughs> I looked at it, I looked down, and I, like, and so do I see the, the I, and, like, so it's, like, it's slightly glowing? Is that what it is? No, so the, the ground around your, your feet is, uh, I guess I should describe that a little bit better. The, the grass around you is kind of a darker green, uh, uh-huh. about the color of the the, uh, the trees in the picture. Yeah, but, but the grass but around different? your feet is a yeah. The grass around your feet is a bright green. Oh, um, I mean, like I, have, it looks I like don't it even know what this is. Very. I'm gonna I'm gonna like walk around in a circle and like look look behind at my footprints. <laughs> like I I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, maybe um, it's Nate. Maybe it's just na- it, nature magic. Yeah, can we like investigate the area or her? Like, what, can we find the source? Like, is it, is it, she's yeah. special, but this area is bringing it out, or is it like she's super special and it's just randomly hey, happening? Hey, Astrid, your feet. There's grass growing around them. Yeah, well, it's not so that's growing what we as just this. saw. It's just glow. It's just. Glowy, greeny. It, it looks Extra more light. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, kind of freaked out because this has never happened before, and I, like, I don't know. I, I guess maybe this just happens up the mountain. I don't know. Is, but is it, is it happening to us? No, it is only happening to Astrid. And as you guys draw more and more attention to it, you notice the effect is happening less and less. Don't look at it. What the hell? Oh. I order you to not look at it. It starts to disappear. It's it's gone. See what you did, Corvus. You ruined it. Oh, I um, okay, I just that thought. Was odd. I told you not to look at it, Squire, and I backhand him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's just let's just keep going and just I don't let's just forget that happened. That was I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Very odd. I guess I know how to use magic, guys. <laughs> do what? You can roll an arcana to check. Ooh, okay. I will do that. And I got a 22. Yeah, you yeah. know that there's nothing inherently magical about Pegasi. Okay, so it, it wasn't a Pegasus hurts? that would have been causing that. Dude, this force. Sure how you know that? But that, that's just something that, you know, you might have heard from the rumor mill. Well, my, my mom taught me a lot about magic when I was a kid. And she is from all over the world. So, so it's not too strange for me to know things about mystical creatures. Maybe I know so because I us, really like a pig. Are you going to tell us to yes. the group or are you saying this about to? Yes, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I don't know where this magic this forest is weird, but it wouldn't be Pegasus, so this mountain could be a dud, for all we know. But we should, we should still, we should keep going. And whatever was causing it, surely it wasn't dangerous, or else after all that time, it would have attacked us, right? Yeah, probably. And yeah. I don't okay. know, maybe. All right. Strange. Sure. You all have scaled up two thirds of the mountain now. And as we keep uh, walking, I keep on kind of like I keep on kind of look look back to see if it's like still happening, and yeah, I'm like a little disappointed happening. that it stopped. But nothing is happening anymore. It is uh, oh. all quiet on that front. Uh, would you guys like to attempt now that you're two thirds up the mountain? Try to roll again to find a feather. Yes. Yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and reveal the rest of the map for y'all. I got a 16. 
Okay. It can be investigation or survival. Or not survival, it uh, nature. It doesn't matter. They're both the same investigation. Alright, well, I'm just telling the, the group. Oh, okay. If Corvus and, uh, we can all roll? roll as well. Yeah. I'll, I'll help oh, yeah, Corvus. investigation. I'll hope Corvus again instead. I got a whole freaking 13 this time. No, you are with guidance? Yeah. Wow. I, I get a whole 14 this time. All right. Uh, you guys once again fail to find anything of note. Uh, you do notice that there see oh, you aside like you don't find any feathers, but you do notice that there are some hoof prints on the ground. Uh, that Ooh. randomly start and randomly stop. Uh, almost as though something is landing, running for a little bit, and taking it. Oh, heck yeah. We're going in the right direction, guys. We just hopefully don't scare them away. But the unicorn is nice, and it's basically the same thing as the Pegasus, so we're fine. I don't we're... think that's true, Squire Boy. I think Pegasus are a little less sentient, sentient than unicorns. Well, you know... They're still the horses. Well, got me there. <laughs> All right. So y'all continue to scale the mountain. Yes. Uh, it is getting a little bit later into the day. Uh, it's about. Mm -hmm. um, we'll say it's about noon to one o'clock. And uh, I would like for each of you to roll perception. Woohoo! Three! Perception. Well, three plus zero is third. So I got a third roll. That is not how math works. I yeah, got a 19. I failed. You got a 19? Yeah. 14. 14? All right, Astrid, you hear soft whispers. Oh, like, like people, like people whispering. Like the trees themselves are whispering. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. I guess when I start hearing about, them, I'll stop. Yeah. As soon as you stop, they they also stop, and then you hear the sound of hooves. Ooh. Like coming towards us or near us? Uh, it doesn't seem like it's changing uh, uh, distance from you, so almost like it's running parallel to your course or in a semicircle mm -hmm. around you. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you uh, notice this, you realize that you guys have hit the top of the mountain. Oh, hooray! Like, I'm gonna say, guys, I think I, I think I hear hooves. I think. I think we might be close to some to where the Pegasus are, and then can right, I start like walking in the direction of the hooves I hear? You may. Okay. We're on the bottom right, guys. Yes, Come bottom right. There. there we are. Okay, it's right over here. So yeah, I'm we're following Astrid. Yeah, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna lead them towards the sound. All right. So as you guys walk up. You see a Pegasus. <gasps> we see one. You see a Pegasus. I thought my checks extra. Y'all have fought Fae, Giants, and Celestials. I flattled day for y'all. Flat my cape cloak. Yeah. <laughs> this forest is strange, you guys. But I get to see a Pegasus. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm... sir, Trenier, perhaps we should check to see if he would allow you to mount him. Yes, quite. Uh, the Pegasus pays y'all no mind. Uh, he sits there. He's got a nest up there. Uh, with my it's a, it's a, it's a, knowledge, it's a, it's a, with my knowledge Wait, check so before, so do Pegasus lay eggs? 
No, they get life first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> question. He said a nest, Astrid. so I was like... Astrid. You... What? Sorry. She rolled a natural yeah. one before, didn't she? So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the natural... I did. Astrid, Astrid would not know they like birth. She would think they lay eggs. Uh, wow. She can ask. <laughs> Um, with the, with the world that I got before, would I know that they are from which plane they come from, or are they native? It's so hard uh, to ask these questions. So, like, I, like I mentioned, you you know that they come from the gods. Okay, um, so celestial. Yeah, so they are celestial, uh, and they uh, they come from a variety of different gods, and it's not sure which one sends which. Or why they said that. I will start loudly, not using thaumaturgy, but loudly, proudly speaking in Celestial, assuming the others will play along. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. What a excellent day for a stroll through my kingdom. I want you to roll me, due to the distance, a disadvantage, because you, you might not hear you. Uh, deception. <laughs> Five. He does not hear you. <clears throat> I walk a little closer. Alright, you should have uh, autonomy on this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, but, but slowly, as to not spook him. But regally. Okay. Regally, slowly. Like I'm on Baywatch. <laughs> yes, we've reached, we've reached a very attractive looking mountaintop, if I do say so myself. Well, wow. whatever hand of God sculpted this place must be truly magnificent and talented. As expected for my land. Yes, surgeon <laughs> Um, ah. Look up there. What is it you see, Squire? I believe it is a rare Pegasus. Ah, uh, fitting, truly. Okay, I would like for Astrid <laughs> to roll me a nature check. I would like for oh. uh, Dranir and uh, Astrid also roll perception. Uh, Wait, okay, so roll, roll different for each of them? Yeah, two different rolls for both perception and... Okay, ooh. Okay. What'd you get? Okay, so for the nature I got a 14, and for the perception I got a... 24. Okay. You notice that... I need to... You notice that about right here, there is a little bit of Pegasus feathers floating around. Ooh. Okay, so uh, as oh. Jernier and while well, while we continue on with that conversation, Jernier and uh, Corvus, can y'all roll deception for me? Can I, are <laughs> yeah. we both rolling? Yes, both of you are rolling. Five. Alright, so Ash Ashley, what are you doing in this time period? I'll I just said so what so while they're like while they're putting on their show, I like look and I see the, the feathers, so I like kinda just kinda like try to casually walk in that direction as and like like slowly as to not like get not to grab the Pegasus's attention. Okay. Uh we'll stealth at advantage. Ooh. Oh, uh, so, uh, while she's doing that, <laughs> our two uh, performers, what have y'all rolled? Five. What? Six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the Pegasus kind of looks down at you guys, and he is completely bewildered as to what two buffoons are doing in the forest. I have no buffoon. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't talk to y'all. He doesn't. He doesn't really pay y'all any mind aside from looking at y'all and just 
like almost neighing and shaking his head. Can can I insight in that? Dismissive manner. Hmm. Can I insight that? You can <laughs> certainly try. Okay. Do it at disadvantage with A distance and B you are really focused on your very bad performance. <laughs> That's fine. That's yeah. We rolled poorly on every performance. Uh, figures. When I it's also, disadvantage, I rolled really I rolled well. 17. 17. Yeah. Alright, so you do successfully get over two feathers. Uh, can I roll. Can I pick some up? Yeah, so roll me side of hand at advantage. Why slide at hand? Are they like slippery or something? No, well, so uh, there might be a wind that comes up. We need to figure that out. Oh, oh, got it. Okay. There might be. They might be guarding them for some reason. So Thirteen. All right, you are able to pick up two of the feathers. Okay, so then I just kind of casually walk back to where I was standing next to Siggy, and I just, I'm, I guess I'll just like let, I'll let Drenir and Corvus finish their, <laughs> finish their attempt. Finish your right. performance. So, Junior and Corvus. Yep. What? First of all, what was your insight roll? 17 at disadvantage. Dang. Yeah, I have a roll of 13 wow. out of 12, and I have plus 5, so. Yeah. All right, so uh, you notice that he is he is being quite dismissive towards y'all. All or right. She. Sorry, I keep saying it's a she. With an oh. obvious sigh, I go, this isn't and I, I just call out in Celestial, hey, how you doing? He, uh... You speak he, horse? He looks at you. He looks, so, at, me. She looks at you, oh. and she, uh... She kind of perks up to that, but she doesn't respond in any other way. So I kind of Actually. make like a like a <clears throat> noise, trying to get Corvus's or Corvus's attention. Okay, yeah, I'll turn my head. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of pick up, I like hold out the feather and I'm like, I'm like, Ooh. and I put the feather back in my, uh, back in my bag. Ooh. And Pip gra uh, gra grabs, grabs onto it. Okay. I pull uh, an apple out of my backpack. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to. I want to see what happens with this Pegasus, but uh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, cool. I, I I take note of. Okay. I pull an apple out of my backpack and extend it with my hand flat. All right. You can pick between persuasion, acro, uh, persuasion, animal handling. Or nature for this role. Nature. nature. Animal oh, animal handling. Boom. Twenty-one. Alright. Eighteen the plus three. Swoops down and with ease and with almost without you even noticing it, swings right in front of you, grabbing the apple from your hand and goes back up to its nest. <gasps> A tear falls down Corvus's face. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is the most smooth glide down, snatch it up, and go back to its nest that you've ever seen. It's just m complete and utter majesty. Trinir, I want to try. I want, do you have another apple? Mm, I do, but uh, I whisper. Oh, how close are you to me? Oh, I'm walking. I'm running up to you. Running? I'm like, I'm ex oh yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. All right, once you get within ten feet of me, I can telepathically speak to you, and I say, I have, it in in telepathic, I have one more apple, but I think it'd be really cool if we could if we could pet the Pegasus. So don't oh don't hold your hand out flat, like hold it, and I'll tell him it's something in celestial, okay? So like hold uh, it. Okay, I'll hold it. Okay, and, then, and extend your arm so he can see it. She can see it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll extend my arm, holding an apple towards the So I'll say in Celestial, my friend and I have another apple if we can pet you. <laughs> and I say it just like that. Uh, 
All right, I want you to roll for persuasion at advantage. And then I want your, I want uh, Corvus to roll a uh, animal handling. Animal handling. Mm. Yes. Okay. Wait, did you say advantage or disadvantage? Advantage for the persuasion, regular for the animal handling. Awesome. I'm just rolling normal, all right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Junior? 19. All those bad rolls paying off now. <laughs> I got a 15. All right, so the Pegasus does descend from its mountain, and it lands right over here. And it trots over to Corvus, and it starts munching. Yeah. I'm going to reach my hand out to pet. All right. So Same. You, may pet. You, you two may pet the Pegasus. Sweat. I'm petting the Pegasus. <laughs> Absolutely. And, oh I, my and I, I, I will I will compliment the Pegasus in Celestial. Um, I'll be like, oh, wow, it's so smooth. You're so beautiful. <laughs> what it is your hair care routine? It loves all of the compliments that it's getting. And it's neighing and it's nuzzling up to you guys. It is loving the attention. Oh. You should tell Astridge right how to get your hair so soft. Ask her... Ask her if she knows Boda. Okay. Uh, in Celestial, have you ever met a witch named Amygdala? Amygdala? <laughs> Amji Boda. It sounds like Amygdala to me. <laughs> uh, the horse does not respond, or the Pegasus does not <laughs> respond at all. Uh, she just continues to love on the guys, on the fact that you guys are petting. What did she say? I don't know if she can respond like that. I don't think it's like a unicorn that can communicate telepathically. I think it's a smart animal, but not one that has speech, maybe. Uh, at the mention of it maybe not being smart, she flies back up. No, I said it is oh. smart, just can't speak. <laughs> Cries. Uh, oh. She understands. Uh understands that yeah yeah that's that's what i mean she 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 knows things she's smart she just can't speak all right so what do y'all do now i'm gonna cry your pegasus has flown away oh well astrid is holding some feathers we will be back pegasus one day and <laughs> Maybe you would let us. Maybe we could be friends. Um. Junior, look, let's go back to Astrid. Okay, well, that was pretty awesome, though. That was the best thing. I did not deserve that, you guys. That was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Probably that I will ever that happen to you. That was pretty impressive. I never thought I would get to see a Pegasus. I didn't even think we'd get to see... I thought we'd just... <clears throat> well, we'll talk about it later. I guess we should go back to Boda's now. Sigi, don't worry. She's not an evil wit. And I'm uh, gonna... With that, Sigi is uh, calmed down a little bit after the mention of going back to uh, Boda. We have yeah. no idea if she's evil or not. She wouldn't tell us anything. I'm going to pull the bag of sand out and draw a circle around us. Okay. Uh, as you do, the uh, familiar light from last time surrounds you guys. And you once again land at her doorstep. Oh, no, I'm, that's the wrong scene. I'm going to wave at the unicorn the whole time until we fade away. Or whatever. However that works. The Pegasus. The Pegasus, you know, Pegacorn, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, uh, All right, so you guys appear at Boda's hut. Uh, she comes out. She, know, she A, recognizes the magic. B, uh, you know, 
it's her hut. She kind of knows what else going on. Yeah. Uh, she says, uh, did you collect uh, the four ingredients that I requested? Drenir and Astrid. I. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look to. I take a step back Corvus away from Drenir. her. Like, and I'm gonna look at them, and like hesitantly like go towards the pocket where I have this, where I have the scales and the Pegasus feather. Like. Like, are we going to give these to her? I take another step back. I know these are these squares. Oh, it's 30 feet. Yeah. Well, the squares are are, are not really to scale. Yeah, so right yeah, so, so in this area, we'll, we'll say it's 5 feet each, just for ease of uh, okay. conversion. Yeah, I take yeah. a step back. Um, okay. So I guess I'm going to, before I hand it to her, I'm like, so um, just just curious, what what are you planning to do with these ingredients? I was working on a new potion that uh, would grant some special abilities, and I was needing these ingredients, and unfortunately it's a little difficult for uh, myself to go out to these woods, uh, and my uh, friends are a little large and tend to scare off all the smaller creatures, uh, thus I needed some people that my stature to go and collect these ingredients for me. Um, and that she leaves at that. Boda, we got to pet a Pegasus. Whoa, my, that is quite some exciting stuff there. You, like, well, I know that, like, you have a hard time giving some of these things on your own, but you should really try it one day. Well, if the Pegasus ever decides to land in my clearing, I will be more than happy to attempt to pet it. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm going to hand her the ingredients I have. She looks at the, the other two of you, and she holds her hand out, requesting the other ingredients. I clutch the bag to my chest and back up another step. Junior, what are you doing? Hand her the teeth and the the, the what was the other thing that the, the you unicorn did. hair. But if I do that, then you guys are gonna leave me. What? Yeah. Um. Our mission will be over. There'll be no reason for you guys to keep hanging out with me. With that Junior. comment, with that comment, uh, Boda looks at all three of, all four of you, rather, and she says, "I don't recognize the fourth one, but the other three of you. This was a trial mission. I do have other tasks that I need for you to complete. Uh, Wait, what? That will help me. I'm sorry. Am I starting to fade out? No, no, I heard no, you. no. That's what my character says. Like, oh." oh. There's more? Uh, yes, there's uh, there's plenty of more tasks for you to perform, and uh, I'm always in need of help. Uh, you you three are more than wel- more than welcome to help me out in my endeavors, uh, and I have plenty of contacts throughout the the forest that could also use your help. So fear not, we can find work for you to do together if you're if that's what you're so inclined to do. But Astrid has to go home once this is done. She's Astrid already late as it is. Want. She's been with us this long. Oh, right, but this means she's like a capable young woman. Um. Well, yeah. maybe if I can, maybe if I make it back, I can show, I can show Fisk that um, that it's okay to go out in the woods, and I'm okay to travel through it. So maybe it won't be all that bad. Yeah, or fiscal ground you for forever, like you said. Yeah, or that. Junior. I don't know. How about this? I mean, if... Hand... I'm sorry. Hand Boda the thing that she asked us to get, 
And sir, we can sir, talk with her a while. It's Angerboat. Huh? Magdala. I am. And I thought. Angaboda. Correct. Magdala. Oh, okay. A after 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 hearing Demir have problems with it, though, she'll say, "Whatever, just call me Boda." Demir. After we hand her these things, we can talk for a while, and then maybe we can walk Astrid back to Eeg together. Stiggy needs to go too. Maybe we could get a good rest in for the night and come back to Boda tomorrow. And we can do that together. Yeah, and uh, maybe, maybe if, maybe if there's nothing for me to do and I'm not dead tomorrow, I can come too. Astrid, if he so, he's not going to hurt you, is? He? Well, okay, no, that was it. Was kind of a it was a um an exaggeration, but I don't. It'll it'll probably be fine. <laughs> you just seem incredibly worried. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe we shouldn't finish well, this for for I don't, for Astrid's I just, sake. I don't Jameer. know. I just I've never. I guess I've never done anything so rebellious, I suppose. But. It's. We'll go back and we'll explain everything. But first, Draenir, can you hand her the things she's asked us to get to retrieve for her? Fine. I reluctantly hold out the bag. She gingerly takes them from, from you. Gently. And uh after gingerly. So, she... Do you mean soullessly? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Andrew, how do you feel about that attack? <laughs> Gingers are the worst, it's fine. <laughs> uh regardless, she uh she goes she takes the item, she 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 saunters back into her hut. She uh, comes back out and she has a bag for you guys. And she holds it out and she says, these items are for you. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Thank you. I'm going to grab it. What's inside? All right. So inside you find three items. Each? You find... <laughs> no. There are only three items. Oh, sorry. There's six items total. Uh, but it's pairs for each. All right. So, for Corvus, you find some bracers. Oh, snap. You find some Draenir, you find... Draenir, you find a rape. A rapier? Astrid, you have... Actually, Astrid has a different item. Uh, uh, Boda brings out a staff for Astrid. Oh. And inside of the pouch, you find three potion bottles. They're in the bag, you said? I'm sorry. Yes, the potion bottles are in the bag. The staff is outside of the bag. The bracers and the ring are also in the bag. Boda, as I, I'm going to put the bracers on, what do these things do? They're cursed. No, I'm kidding. Uh, they're <laughs> bracers of archery. You feel like your, your skills with the bow have increased. Uh, uh, I got bracers of archery. And she, she tells him, why don't you try firing your bow? Oh yeah, I'm gonna fire my bow. I'm gonna fire it at Pip. <laughs> Just kidding. I like, I like, hold up the staff. Don't even. Havana Kadabra. <laughs> he, stick, he sticks his head out of, the, out of the pocket and he like hisses at you. I uh. Fine. I'm gonna <laughs> shoot one of the birds in the sky. All right. Uh, roll to hit. Oh, okay. I don't know it's gonna have to actually roll. Uh, I got a. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not good at math. I got a 22. You hit a bird straight out of the sky, no problems. Ooh. Ooh. It falls straight down to earth, and Boda looks at you and says, "Should we make some uh, mid-afternoon meal or uh, yeah, dinner time?" 
So should we make some dinner? It's a it's this a bird? relatively large. It's it's a relatively large bird. It's not a. Oh, <laughs> it's a Pegasus hatchling. I. <laughs> 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 because contrary to actual uh, lore, you guys for some reason believe they catch some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, you guys, <laughs> just Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> That's canon. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm All gonna right, pick a, I'm so, gonna like hold up the staff, and I'm gonna ask Boda. So what? So what does the staff do? Or is it just a staff? Alright, so the staff. Uh, give me one second. I, I, I'm having to pull up all the different items. Staff of healing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Staff, I have of healing. Staff of she healing. not have anything along those lines. Alright, so it is a long staff with a python's head at the top. Of it. <gasps> it looks like it's made out of wood. Staff of the adder. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, and she explains what it does. Uh, Anger River says, you can... Use the staff's command word, which is uh, the person, who, uh, the, the name of the person that's attuned to with the word transform attached to it in druidic. Mm -hmm. um, and you throw it on the ground, and it will it will turn into a giant constrictor. Uh, that really and you is have cool. Absolute control over oh. this giant constrictor. She's gonna kill me. I will if you keep coming for Pip. Corvus. That thing's gonna go for Pip. Alright. No way. Finally, we get to the last item. Uh, aside from the potion box. The last item is a small silver gray ring. And in it, uh, where the ornament would be is a skull's head with a single yellow bead in one of the eye slits. Or yellow gem. I uh, put it around my finger and All die right. a horrible death. This, no. <laughs> this is a ring of obscurity, Boda says. Uh, once per day, or sorry, uh, you may use one of its three charges to cast the spell Fog Cloud. When you may either have it, uh, uh, but the changes to the spell are this: it is centered on you, and it lasts for one minute with no concentration required. Uh, so those are your three magical, magical items. Uh, finally, she hands you the, or finally you. You get to the three potions. They are all identical. Uh, and she looks at them and says, These potions I specially made just for the quest takers. And these potions will give you more power and more abilities. And she turns to uh, the bard hmm. or the minstrel and she says, I'm terribly sorry. I only made three of these because I only sent out three messages. But uh, I'm, I'm afraid I, I don't have one. And Siggy looks back at her and says, The adventure was far enough for me. Uh, I don't need any reward. I didn't do it. Yeah, Siggy's And he kind of just sheepishly backs away from you guys. Uh, almost a little disappointed, but like, understanding. I ah, so, Siggy's fine. Are you guys going to partake in these three potions? Oh, yeah, I'm down. Well, I'm weary. I am. But I'm doing it. Because wait, you're gonna drink one? Important to me. Oh yeah. I'm gonna sniff it. What does it smell like? I'm gonna save it. It smells like your favorite smells in the world. Uh, whether you enjoy the smell of flowers or the smell of uh, tea or pine or uh, Pip's fur, <laughs> it smells like the <laughs> absolute best thing in the world to you. And it's different for each for each of the three of you if you want to. I smell it. cheese. Just kidding. Ew. Actually, for you, it probably would smell like cheese. <laughs> I hate cheese. <laughs> Again. Um. But I right, I so drink it. You drink it. 
I, that's what she wanted us to do, right? Yeah, she, she encouraged yeah. you all to. She encouraged you all to drink it. Oh yeah, I'm drinking it. I'm doing uh, what Jernier, she, she turns to Jernier and she says, uh, "Please partake." And uh, she she reaches out. She she turns into her hut, comes out with a uh, a similar flask with a different drink in it, and she starts uh, uh, intaking it as well. Shouldn't I save it? Uh, I guess I'll for when we need the boost. No, this is a much like the the potion that I'm working on inside. This one is a a, a much less powerful version of it. And uh, but I still think that you should all partake. It would help you out tremendously. It's a sample. It's it's a sample. We're fine. You're fine. It's not a sample. It's not a sample. It's a lesser version. It's the difference between like cure wounds and master. Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, it's good for you, Drenir. It's a potion of level up. Um, <laughs> I drink the potion. That's fine. <laughs> yes, it is a potion of level up. You guys all reach level two. Oh. Yeah, I'm serious. Heck it is a potion dang. of level up. <laughs> That's what I thought, <laughs> baby. I'm leveling all up. Right. And with that, with that, we're done with the session. Sick. Uh, Ooh. But that is a potion of level up, so everyone take a, another level. Uh, and we will discuss uh, what you guys have taken in next session. How you guys cool. level up. Cool. I'm, uh, right. I wish we were level three so I could start picking all my stuff, but that's fine. Level two. Now uh, I gotta choose a circle. We only have like one combat encounter. Everything else was just encounters, so... Um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you gotta choose a circle. Um, so, Dang. not next week, but two, two weeks. Circles at level two? Yeah. Two, two weeks, yeah. 